My name is Akusi Adakwa. I teach sociology at the University of Ghana and I've been a member of the Pathways Project since its inception. Simply put, women's empowerment is the creation of an enabling environment for women to achieve their highest potential. By enabling environments, I mean the development of policies that support women's goals and the elimination of cultural constraints that make it difficult to achieve their goals in life. In 2008, with a colleague, Georgie Chikata, we conducted a survey of 600 Ghanaian women located in three regions of Ghana, in both rural and urban Ghana, and across three generations. And we wanted to assess basically change and continuity in Ghanaian women's lives. The survey had many components that explored marriage and family relationships, reproductive and mental health, their work opportunities, access to justice, and so on and so forth. One of the key findings that I think relates to the idea of women's empowerment is the relationship between education and work. Much of the literature on education suggests that it's a form of empowerment, that educating women is a good thing. And while our survey supports that, it also suggests that education is just one variable that's important to achieving, to helping men achieve their goals. And that another key component is the provision of work in the formal sector. What we did find is that although much younger women in Ghana have higher levels of education than the older women in Ghana, their access to jobs in the formal sector was much more restricted so that the older women who had secondary school education, for example, were much more likely to be engaged in the formal sector than the younger women. We also did find that work in the formal sector provided the most secure forms of um, employment in Ghana in terms of the amount of money you made, the access to health care and pension schemes and so on and so forth. So what the data suggests is that while in the Ghanaian context a lot of emphasis has been placed on educating Ghanaian women, not enough emphasis has been placed on ensuring that they can translate that education into work in the formal sector. So yes, in terms of have Ghanaian women gotten more educated over time, yes, but has that translated into more secure jobs? The answer is no.